Then twist it to the. And apparently that locks them in. push them or bend them or anything. Next two pedestals are in. We'll keep filling it up. You see the back ones are now buried. Those tubes will soon be buried as well. And we'll just keep piling it up and piling it up and get the fans on. So these little sticks as well, they do come in half, about halfway up, so if you do hit it, it just, just knocks the little red stick off so you don't pull everything up, if you know what I mean. That's quite good. Window needs a clean, doesn't it, look? Now I'll start getting more corn in the shed. I'll uh, probably not use this one now, and we'll move on to this one. This is a 535, 12.5, so we've got 12 metre boom. And then we've got a four metre push on the front as well. So we can get nice and high, like right up here somewhere in the middle of the shed. things here called starters because uh, without them um, if the motor burnt out or something it would just keep going and going and going until it caught fire whereas this will stop that so if I want to stop a fan from inside I can press one of these or if I want to reset these I'll press them again and then outside outside we've then got these these here these isolators so I can turn them off outside as well and then I've made the cable put them in the middle and made the cables long enough so they can either go this side or this side, or I've got two more, if I get two more fans, which I've got the fans, but they needed in all the other grain stores. There's more plugs up there, one there, and one there as well. So we could have four fans fans running if we want. These are the fans. Martin Lishman, 2.2 kilowatt, three horsepower, made out of aluminium, and they are pretty powerful to be fair. Let's check they're working. Test the temperature. 
temperature in the heat. We'll test it at the front and we'll test it at the back and see how much these fans are bought and down by. These are three phase fans as well, they are pretty powerful. Always prefer three phase because a lot more efficient on electricity compared to the single phase on the shift, like three times the amount of air as a single phase fan as well. Also, I've had this idea as well. Could we change the impeller round so it blows, or we'll change the th one of the phases round so it go so it puts the motor into reverse, and then we could have a pipe coming off here to like a little diesel heater or something, or like a thermobile gas heater, or you know what they use in grain drying, and then sort of have that just here with a pipe going up to it, so that instead of sucking air out, we can blow hot air in and dry it, and then like after like you know leave it on for like five or six hours to get loads of heat into the heap and then just wire the phase back round or put it on a switch or something so that then it sucks all the hot air back out and hopefully under if it under if it could dry the corn as well this is my moisture meter it's got like a little grindy bit in here and then it sort of just goes back together like that and that oh, goes on there like that so we set it barley all right so we'll put it on barley look there get a little bit fair sample You're supposed to use a little spoon but that'll do so i'm gonna grind it first Like that. And then this compresses it into the sensor. Like that. Thirteen point six percent, which is good. Then we're going to check, test the uh, heat. Got this stick that plugs in the end. So we check check the temperature with this. Thirteen. Sorry, sixteen point nine. But then we can plug it in and stick this in, which plugs into the end of the moisture meter just there. And then that tests it as well. On the probe now, 21.5 in the heap. So I'd expect it, we'll go do another test at the back of the heap. And I'd expect it to be a bit cooler because the fans have been on for a day now. So we'll go check that. Just shoving up. This will be the, well, this shed should be full to the door today. We're trying to get as much in as possible. I'm not sure what it'll hold, but I guess around 1,500 tonnes, possibly a bit more, not too sure yet, until, until we get it all in. Shoving up again. Trying to get it as high as possible. You should see the little red stick come out in a minute. Oh, look, there it is. The sailor. But I know where they are, because they're in line with these posts, so there and that one. So I know not to go near them, and it's a... So I'll keep showing up anyway. Getting all that pretty high up. Some big boom, that is. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, series of uh, grain store build and filling it up. Don't forget to uh, give me a bit of a subscribe and um, I'm sure I'll see you in one of the next videos.